Hi guys, I hope that you guys are doing pretty well. So today we're going to talk about mentorship and how mentorship help is helping me in my pre-medical student journey. But before we begin, um, I just wanted to share my view on mentorship. Before when I didn't know anything about mentorship, so I thought that mentorship was one of those which people think really reserve and not really talk about where you need to have money find somebody that know a lot about the subject and pay them like $200 or $200 an hour so that they can teach you about the stuff that they know so that's the way I view mentorship before and I really don't know why it might be possibly because of their interaction and the interaction that I had with some mentors beforehand or maybe the people that I have around me that was giving giving me all those entre information that I learned somehow but that was my view on mentorship before but my view on mentorship completely changed when I moved to the US and got into college where in my college they have one of those special mentorship program where they have student helping other student help like um freshman sophomore if you want to get a transcript if you want to talk to an advisor if you want to like navigate to the website but you can't find what you're looking for you have a problem with your class so you pretty much have another student you have a platform where you can go ask for help get a mentor that will help you out with your stuff um at the beginning it was really weird to me because i come with in a background where they just expect me to know everything where they just expect me to do everything by myself so i was not used to relying on people I was not used to rely on people to give me anything information or anything related to information so it was pretty much like I want to do something so I'm gonna try to find a way by myself to do it but I really don't know why but those mentorship program really helped me. not really helped me. yeah it did help me but this kind of mentorship program is something that I had to think a lot about at the beginning before I actually won the platform and asked for help in my second semester in college, my freshman year, because I was really struggling. Yeah, so let's go back to the subject. So that's pretty much, that was pretty much my view on mentorship before I come to college and when I got into college. So mentorship in the pre-medical during in the pre-medical student training or like in the pre-medical journey not student is something really important because there are a lot of information out there that people expect you to know somehow and there's also a lot of opportunities that you can get for yourself but in no way that you can get those opportunities and maybe you can get those not this knowledge by yourself or just sitting in your room and study all day and not doing anything than studying on or not doing anything than interacting with people. So the only way that you can get advantages to those resources and maybe to those opportunities that will come to your door is by interacting with people or by having a mentor. Having a mentor really helped me because my mentors, they do teach me a lot. I have different kind of mentors which are in the health field, the health field, like healthcare field and computer field as well so it's not like only healthcare related because I really like diversify things and kind of have uh, this on everything that I'm interested into and stay updated so my mentors they really helped me a lot and the way that I did find my first mentor which is um, a nursing student right now is by a volunteering opportunity that I have in my school at a food pantry so I met her there. She's a nursing student. I was trying to get into medical school, but she didn't get it. And she was into a special program that should actually help her get into medical school really quickly and easily. But sadly, she didn't get it. And one day, randomly, we were talking about everything. And I find out that she tried to take the MCAT and everything, but she stopped being a call for her, and then she switched to nursing. That was pretty tough for me because I was never, I never really interacted with anybody that actually went for in the process and had to choose the plan B, which is taking this up out because it was way too hard for them, at least right now. And she did take the time to explain me a good amount of stuff that I was not used to because you know when you go to the internet everybody thinks to glamorous stuff and not really think about the 
other side, but just reflect the beauty of the field and how everything will be pretty fine. How they cool set up or cute um, their little markers and stuff are. But she literally took her time and talked to me about not everything because it was not a really long talk, but about stuff that I didn't know before and I should have been aware of if I really wanted to get into medical school and maybe get into the field. Interaction with a mentor was back in high school, but the thing is, I didn't know that. I could I could have called it mentoring, cause I had my missing misinformation and misconception about mentoring mentoring before, so I didn't really want to call it mentoring. So I was back in high school with a classmate that I had when I was trying to get into coding, right? He did he did know more than me, and he was practicing a lot, and I was trying to get into the field. But the reason why I'm gonna call it mentoring is because of the process like the way that we did thing is pretty much like i learned something today i will go and share it to him he might probably know it but he might also not know it so we just share information with each other so we kind of like become the main tour of each other which was a pretty good interaction a pretty cool relationship if you can call it this way but that was also mentoring that i was not able to recognize before but I also had a good amount of mentoring situations and maybe interaction when I still in college right now, but I'm not gonna recall all of them in the video because it's not the purpose. I just wanted to briefly talk about mentoring and say how important mentoring is in the pre medical student, in the pre medical journey, because of the amount of information that we pre medical student have to know. I also advise you guys to get into maybe a mentorship program and help all the student out because there is a lot of us out there and I do know there is somewhat people trying to help us out but with different platforms such as Reddit and all the stuff but the misinformation or maybe like the amount of false information on those platforms are really mind-blowing and we actually need to step out as pre medical students and really think about the stuff that we are going through instead of letting people generalize or uh, maybe seeing things that they have no idea about because it's really important it's scaring other people out i'm not saying that we need to stop glamorous medicine but i'm just saying that we actually need to go out and talk about the stuff the thing that we are going through the way that they are and not trying to you know embellish anything or do other stuff that we're not sure to the feel so that was pretty much it so i hope that you guys like it i know i was pretty slow but that's the way that i get when i'm talking to subject that i'm really interested in because i don't want to sp um, speak fast i just want to take my time and actually talk about the subject which was mentoring today so right now i gotta go because i need to go to work and i'll see you guys tomorrow in another video bye